I'm glad she's not going. I really, I, who wants to sit and look at her, try to pretend like she's there in any way supportive of the royal family? She hates them, despite the fact that they made her a mega star. They gave her all this opportunity to earn tons of millions and millions of dollars, all roots back to them, and gave her a royal wedding and the Diana's jewels and the queen and all of it. She hates them. So why would we have to look at her, Sophie, sitting there pretending otherwise? It was annoying enough at the queen's funeral. Well, no, and it's, it's quite good. I give her a due. She's finally figured out that we don't want her back in Britain. She will never be welcome back in Britain. You can't come here, trash everything, our royal family, everything we are as a country when we have given you so much and expect to be welcomed back with open arms. And she's finally realised that. And good old Mr Green's jetting it over as usual. Can't wait for him to probably lecture us on climate change when he's got a private jet over here for one day, as usual. So he's off doing his normal hypocritical whining nonsense so spare us that but at least it's only here for 24 hours but i would rather it be none yeah spare us exactly right he was just at the un lecturing us all about how we needed to be greener you got to give up your suv and turn down your heater or your ac but he can literally take a private jet over there for like a four hour stint then turn right back home and go home to his huge mansion in montecito which is not very green um what about him leilani because he was part of the same Netflix documentary and fully on board with calling half of the British people racists because they voted for Brexit. So now he's going to come in front of that same group and I pray that they break decorum and boo him like I will be doing from my home. <laughs> and if I turn it on, I, I feel a little bit the same as Mark about it all, actually. But if I turn it on, I will be booing him, too, because it is. It's always hypocritical. Um, you know, he'll come over, he'll lecture us, he'll fly back on his private jet, he'll jet over here. Um, and yeah, he was there with with Megan calling us all racist because, you know, and then obviously that he backtracked and blamed it on the media. But that was, you know, years later. He didn't backtrack on, he didn't say, no, actually, let's put a stop to this now. At the time when the media reported it, we knew what Megan was trying to say. He didn't speak up at the time. Um, and then obviously because of the backlash he's received and how the British people have felt about it, he then, you know, goes back a couple of years later, and he thinks it's all going to be fine when he comes over here. So, no, I will be booing. I'm already booing now, actually. Yeah. So she knew she'd get booed. I mean, her approval ratings are a minus 33. She swung to minus 33 uh, when you count up the approvals and the disapprovals. So she knew she'd get booed. That's almost certainly why she's not coming, though there was some reporting out of Great Britain that Princess Kate said she's not coming. Trust me, <laughs> she may not come. So we don't know what the truth is. But Omid Scobie, who is basically the stenographer for this pair, comes out. I know Sophie's already recoiling. He comes out with a report um, saying, Megan decided not to attend the coronation. She is aware of just how much the spotlight goes on her when she sets even a foot near the story. So that, Sophie, is why she's chosen not to attend. So as out of deference, you see, to King Charles's moment. Listen, Scooby-Doo, he chats a load of rubbish. So I don't even know why we call him a rural commentator because he doesn't know anything. He's basically just their mouthpiece. But let's be quite honest. I don't care about Harry and Meghan. The coronation is not about Harry and Meghan. It's about King Charles and it's about the British people. So what I want really is to just not hear about them at all. I don't want the press to be writing a load of boring articles about them and making everything about them as they tried to do when the Queen died. This is not about Harry and Meghan. They're irrelevant to us. Most of us don't even consider them as part of our royal family. We don't like them. This is about the British people and having a great, joyous celebration and loving Britain. And the thing I love about the coronation is, finally, for one time, it's not shameful to be patriotic. I feel like Britain is the only country in the world where it's you are looked down upon if you like where you are from and that you should be embarrassed if you celebrate the country that you were born in. So I love the fact that, you know, the streets are lined with Union Jacks. But it does frustrate me that why are we only doing this in the coronation? Why can't we do it 24-7? Experts say that China is hoarding a massive amount of food. They will soon have over two-thirds of the globe's corn reserves, over half of its rice, and over half of its wheat. But when asked about it, China misleads. One China expert says that they, of course, would never admit to something like that. Well, what does China know that we don't? When it comes to global food shortages, China is the canary in the coal mine. You see, China's the world's number one food importer. They rely on the rest of the world to keep their people fed. 
so they cannot afford to mess this up or there could be riots or civil panic or worse. That's why it's a smart idea to stock up on your own on a kit of the best-selling Four Patriots survival food. Create your own stockpile of the best-selling Four Patriots survival food kits. Hand-packed in the USA, the kits are compact and stack easily. They have different delicious breakfasts, lunches, and dinners, and their five-star reviews on the website rave about the flavor and the taste. Right now, you can get 10% off your first purchase of Four Patriots Survival Food by typing in the code MK at checkout. Go to 4, the numeral 4, patriots.com. Use that code MK and get your 10% off your first purchase of Four Patriots Survival Food. Again, that's 4patriots.com. Use that code MK. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.